Yeah, you can't really tell in the camera that it doesn't quite match, but it's uh, way off. And I fixed my tape in the odd spot where I had the paint run down over it and cleaned up and inspected it good. Anyway, I'm uh, sanding it down and yeah, you might be able to tell there, it's pretty dark. That's the clear coat, of course, and here's my color. But anyway, it's several shades too dark. And thinking about it, I kind of like the brighter there for a day or so, but uh, I don't want this car to be the the gaudy um, bright yellow. I don't want the bright yellow. I I want the uh, slightly canary yellow that it is. So anyway, out here. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can even see it, but right here, I mixed some paint together. That was, uh, my first batch. It's a little too light and I put a little more yellow in it. Anyway, that matches pretty close, like way darker or like this is way, way, way darker. So that white quart that I have and the two and a half quarts of the yellow I have left over, I'll be mixing together in another day or two. Um, that and this, I'll be mixing together and matching it up and then spraying a, three more coats on it. And this time, this time when I paint, I'm going to have lights set up and I'm going to use, uh, there's a trouble light over at my mom's. I'll grab that. It's uh, the fluorescent type, just like um, eight inches or 10 inches long that you hold in your hand. So I'll be using that, holding the hose while I spray. Um, the, one of the two reasons why I had so many runs, because I did have five or six or seven runs here and there and everywhere. No big sags, just in, in around joints and stuff, was because one, I couldn't see because I was going by feel too dark in here and I was always in my shadow. And the other one was not used to the gun. Uh, I find these uh, upright guns, the trigger is, uh, I'm not used to it and it seems to be a little stiff. Um, I'll have to keep an eye on that when I start, when I spray again and try to master it a little sooner so that it doesn't mess me up. But anyway, I'm sanding away. Um, the paint, the hardener must be working darn good because it's only been a couple of days and I'm sanding and there's no, no specks. It's like this, like I'm sanding it, starting off, I'm starting with uh, 280 just to get the roughness out. And then when I get it like um, 75, 80% through the orange peel, kind of with the 280, then I go to my 400 and I'll carefully go over it with 400, then one of those scratch pads and then blow it off and mix up my paint and, and do this again. But there's no specs on, I've had no problem with specs and the 400 isn't specking up either. And the little and the dust comes off and it sands, it sands easier. The paint is sanding easier than primer. Like it just, it, the only thing is the paper, when you sand, it wants to stick a little bit. So you have to sort of go in a little bit of a circle motion so that you don't get the, the gummy stick at, at each end. But um, I don't know if I need to use a block because, you know, like, like uh, there's nothing wrong with blocking. But um, I find if I don't use the block, I have a little better feel of when the paper, if it happens to get any dirt on it or anything. 
but they're all try using the block it, but I know on the Ferrari I had I did do some with the block but but where it's not coming up maybe I could do it with the block but it it seems to be working because the read of once you start start sanding you can see all the ins and outs in between each little kind of like um like there you can see a little bit of a ripple of the orange peel well uh, that's about as close as you can get to a reed and then I as I said I left some of it on the 280 I'm going to go to the 400 to get down because I don't want to take all the paint off for one thing if I take too much paint off I'll be back down to that primer again I, I don't want that but I don't see any primer coming through but anyway I'm going to paint it I'm going to sand it down and get ready and within a day a couple days I'll be painting it again with the slightly mixed lighter color I don't want this I don't want it to look uh, this loud I, I like I want this uh, more easier going color this is a little too rich for me it kind of looks good except for there's a lot of uh, irregularities you know it's Yeah, it's something like um, we sand these things down like four or five hundred or so, six hundred. And then you put a paint job on that has a slight orange peel, which is a lot rougher than even 280, let alone 400 or 600. You know, unless you can put on a perfectly smooth, perfectly darn smooth paint job, you might as well sand with 280 and, and paint. Matter of fact... Pro, there's a chance that you wouldn't get it, orange peel if you sand it. That, if I painted this at 280 sanding, there's a chance that the sanding is rough enough that it manipulates the paint to follow the grooves instead of orange peel. So that's an idea because there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to pull off a perfect paint job. And I don't like orange peel. I don't really mind sand scratches, so maybe I'll paint it at 280. But anyway... I usually follow through at least with effort to get to where I'm supposed to be. So I'll probably sand it with the four and then scuff it off with that 600 pad, but my paint job probably won't justify it. Well, anyway, um, this early in the day, I might be back a little bit later. Cat's sleeping. Uh, good night.